see that scream from here because in the woods um, there's there are trees between me and it but I'm pretty sure I should have some trail camera pictures to look at which would be pretty interesting Well, I'm on my way home. Just had a blast of a hunt. Nothing in shooting range, but um, three doe moved through, and then I had, um, I saw a total of four different bucks. Um, the first one was, uh, wasn't legal, but he was followed by, it looked like a nice eight point. I didn't get a real good look at him, um, just because the, there were trees between me and them. Um, and then as I was climbing down, I caught movement, which you can see from the other video, but I saw that spike, and then I decided to hang my mobile rig um, in that area where those bucks are going to be moving through, um, or where they moved through this morning. This, it's actually where, uh, kind of more where I wanted to be, but the wind was iffy, and uh, and I sat back in hopes that they would work that four-wheeler path down to me um, instead of taking the route that they did. So, might have failed this morning, um, but it, had I had been there, I'm not sure uh, I would have seen anything the way that the wind was blowing. So, it was good. It was a fun morning. Um, I've got two stands hung in the woods now, and... Um, next chance I get to hunt I'm gonna have to hunt in one of them so this one I'm gonna wait till the next morning where winds perfect to climb into early um, I didn't blow any deer out except for that spike he was the only one that uh, <laughs> that blew out and it got out of there in a hurry and he went in the opposite direction of the box so of the other box so I feel good about that area I feel good about that spot and I just hope uh, Hope things continue to go the way they're going there. It's Thursday. I'm down here checking my cameras on my food plot. There's a giant scrape up underneath this tree right there. It's almost the size of a car hood. And I've been getting some pictures of a few deer. One deer that Finn named Splits. We found him earlier this year in the summer. But the food plot is getting hammered. Everything is nipped off here, all through here. So I don't know if they're doing that in the morning or afternoon. I would assume the mornings just based off my trail cameras, but staying out of here until I see something nice on camera that I'm willing to come in and hunt. So that's why I've been hunting the other property, but I have a feeling once we had a couple nice frost, but once that frost really hits and kills this stuff off, sweetens it up, the deer will be in here even more so. If you guys follow the hunting beast, Dan Infault, if you don't, I highly suggest you do. He taught me to use milkweed for my wind checker instead of the spray bottles. And the reason being is you can see how fine this stuff is. It's cheap, it's free, you just go find it. And 
it works like a charm for your scent. And you wouldn't believe how scent actually moves. Smokers, you see it for a little bit, but it doesn't actually show you how your, your scent travels. And uh, the milk thistle will. So you just kind of spray it. It shows you exactly the path your scent's blowing. It's like a river. So, you know, it, it changes multiple times because of the land and trees and whatnot. So uh, I kind of ran out of some of this stuff. So I got I got some more here today. While I was down checking a food plot, I got a bunch of it. So this should last me for the season. If it's not dried out, and you just make a little slit in it, dry it out, throw it in your pack, you're good to go. So right here, I have my Exodus, and this is where I'm getting splits coming through. I'll walk you over here. Actually, I'm just going to hop on the quad. I'm going to hop on the quad and show you this scrape over here. You might be able to see it, right? there. They dug out all the turnips and have it roughed up pretty good. And I have another camera on the other side of the, the food plot that has a, a big scrape or a big rub under it as well. So that's the scrape I was talking about. My stand is right, can't even see it in the camera, right about there I believe. And then I have another camera over there and you can see I have a nice tree that they like to rub on so that's a perfect situation other cameras here they come in from the cornfields work right past that camera come over make a big scrape here work over hit that rub and then down and there's a scrape line going out along that edge I have a blind brushed in right there for Finn and I so I'm just waiting until it really heats up and that's, that's where we're going to be. Well guys, I'm out here on this property. I was in that stand. And a nice eight point walked out of this corner. <sighs> and I just shot him. Hopefully it was a good shot. I think I hit him a little forward. He, when I hit him though, he grunted and beelined for the woods. I'm pretty sure I heard him crash, but I'm gonna check, check for blood, check the arrow, see what's, see what's up. No smell to it. Bubbly, really bubbly. I think it's a good hit, the way he took off. I think he's probably down, there's blood immediately right here. So I'm just gonna stick this into the ground so I know where I last have blood here. Let's see what we got. I'm not gonna jump on him right away. I'm gonna give him a little bit of time, so. Well, I found him. Nice eight point. I couldn't be happier. Perfect shot. All right, guys, well, I just got Joliet to bed at 7.40. Uh, Lisa should be home from work soon, and uh, I got the call from Kevin that he killed a buck tonight. Um, he called me while I was at work, so I've been anticipating driving out there. Got the uh, camera, getting it all cleaned up and all that good stuff, so 
I'm going to go out and snap some pictures for him and just enjoy and celebrate the moment for him. Uh, he's been hunting deer on that property and just hasn't had any luck. A lot of great deer, and uh, he took one of them. So, so stoked to go out and lend a hand and celebrate a little bit with my buddy. Proud of you, Kevin. It's freaking awesome. I think I'm probably just as excited as he is, so can't wait. What's up, guys? So I made it out to Kevin's. We shot some pictures, and now the fun stuff begins. I'm going to go home and go to bed so I can wake up and go hunting and try to repeat this tomorrow. I'm going to be up all night taking care of deer. I would much rather be Kevin tonight. Yeah, yeah. But it's fun coming out celebrating a little bit. And... Uh, He's having trouble getting his hoist rope figured out. So I'll help him since I'm the engineer of the group. Well, it was fun hanging out with Kevin last night, enjoying the success of his hunt. Uh, nice buck down. So that's always good. Always good motivator to get up the next morning and, and go out yourself. Set up and in the stand this morning at 5.45, about 6 o'clock. Uh, buck came in and started working the scrape 25 yards, 20, 25 yards from me. Uh, and then another one came in and they worked that scrape. Well, came to check my trail camera and even on uh, private property that you have access to hunt, you have to deal with other hunters. So I know uh, he gives some other guys access to hunt in here and that's what happens. They point your trail camera directly to the ground. So I won't get a look at those bucks and I'm gonna move this trail camera. Well, that might be a little frustrating, but part of hunting is dealing with other people, even on private property that you have access to hunt. So I took my two climbing sticks and hung my trail camera so that it's overlooking that scrape. And it's up there. So I won't be able to check it very often unless I'm climbing out of a tree, but I would have liked to have seen what the what bucks were actually through this morning early between 6 and 6 30 but oh well it'll be a mystery and i'll get trail camera pictures next time and i'll get trail camera pictures of the guy that did it because he's not going to see that up there so two climbing sticks and i'm good to go i'm gonna leave the two climbing sticks off so that if he wants to mess with my tree stand he's gonna have to bring his own so that's all there is. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I'm headed to the tree stand, the spot that I've been hunting. Um, Wednesday, saw that nice eight point. Talked to the landowner yesterday evening and Thursday, right at daylight, he saw that eight point. I also won't have any more problems with my trail camera and tree stand. Um, 
building relationships is an important thing no matter what you're doing in life so uh, it's good that uh, this guy's a close family friend has been for a long time uh, so he's got my back which is good but that trail camera is set up in a position now where it'll be cool to get pictures of that downward angle if I can of those deer uh, if they decide to move through today or if they moved through last night or whatever I'll have them. I feel like I want to be in that stand until I do something that spooks them or makes them feel like something's different. Um, I just, I feel like that's my best opportunity right now in the areas that I'm hunting. I had a pretty cool morning so far. One buck and three doe. Uh, they just worked out through the field away from me. Um, they didn't come back through. They were just moving through the area, but I had an owl land right on the other side of my camera. 